Hello, welcome to Tides of Vintage. My name is Jonathan, and today is episode four or five of building an eBay shop together. To kind of recap what we've done so far, we started basically a brand new eBay account, and we're basically building up slowly, buying clearance bundles from wholesalers, and kind of turning it over to basically build the account up. The first three months we operated on uh, turning the stock over using 99p uh, auctions, basically building up the account, getting to the point where we're top rated sellers, um, basically gives us a bit of credibility when it comes to selling on eBay. And we've now switched to cheap, or, uh, cheap buy it nows to kind of start getting that return. Uh, the first couple of months, we basically used the uh, Boom Wholesale uh, eBay boxes. These are great ABC boxes. And we're basically putting stuff on there um, at 99p and kind of just getting the return. And we made profit, but very small profit doing it this way. It's obviously not the most optimal way. We're not gonna make money this way. But what it does allow is us to build the account up so that we're more credible when it comes to selling higher end stuff down the line. Um, and obviously getting an eBay account up and running uh, is a difficult task. Uh, when you first start an eBay account, they're limited and it takes a while to get it unlocked. So we've managed to get that point now to the point where I think we've got the listing capacity of 350 items, something like that. Um, and we're now classed as a top rated seller. We're not benefiting from the top rated status because there are like things you've got to do to kind of benefit from being top rated. Um, which we can't afford to do with our current listings. However, um, we've got that status. So, you know, we're at that kind of credible point. Um, we have also opened up our uh, basic shop. This gives us 250 listings for the price of, uh, I think it's like 90 or something like that. Um, so we're gonna be saving money on our listing fees. Um, at least that's the idea. Until we get to at least 250 items um, and then once we go over 250 items, when we kind of hit like the 3, 320 mark, we then may need to actually increase to the next level of shop to increase our listings even more. Uh, but today's the last day of the month, so we might get an extra couple of sales in there today, but uh, we're at a point where we can actually get a really good reflection on how we did versus last month. Now, May and June, we know they uh, took a bit of a hit because uh, I was injured, which I know some of you out there are apparently sick of hearing, but it's reality at the end of the day shit comes up in real life um, and it has an effect on the things that you do with your business so it's a very real kind of reflection of how we're getting on with things i'm sorry if it doesn't make good content for you but at the end of the day you don't pay me so um, you don't really get a say in the matter um, but where are we so uh, we've actually sold i'll put the numbers up we've sold 56 items this month and i think we've listed 145 so we've listed 145 items this month and we've sold 56. We're actually down on sales because obviously when you're on 99p sales, stuff's gonna sell for 99p, it's gonna come in and go straight away. Um, but our average price is pushed up from £9.40 up to £15.7p. Now, I mentioned in the previous video that there was the uh, Michael Jackson shirt, t-shirt, that sold for 93 quid, I think. Uh, so somebody accepted like I sent out, we had 12 watches very quickly I sent out a very basic offer and it sold very quickly and we did send it special delivery so we lost a bit on that but the box that came in cost 50 quid um, and we got 90 quid for that shirt uh, minus the 10 for special delivery so we got 80 quid it, it covered for the cost of the, sh uh, the box anyway and we sold two or three more pieces from that same box for 25 30 quid <clears throat> so that box worked really nicely sorry um, but yeah, total sales, including shipping, is 843 quid, um, which is up 60% um, on last uh, month, which is good. Um, our total costs um, is 305 quid. That's basically 36% of um, our total has gone to fees and post, uh, which leaves us with 580, uh, 558 quid, 538 quid when I learned to read, um, of just basically net profit. So the money has definitely gone up um, from that. Um, now, a couple of weeks ago, I was passing vintage wholesalers in Manchester, uh, or Stockport, basically Manchester, um, and they currently, I'm not sure if they still do, but they were they had uh, clearance sacks, five quid a kilo, um, 
I went in, grabbed two sacks myself. Um, couldn't see what was in them. They said I could open them, but I was like, no, it's fine. I'll just take the random as if they were buying it online. Uh, picked the two sacks uh, and uh, five quid a kilo. Costs 150 quid, including VAT. Um, and the stuff was fantastic, to be fair. Uh, a load of Nike windbreakers in there. Uh, some really nice stuff like uh, Tommy Rainmac, uh, Nautica. Um, all this stuff here is unlisted. This is still stuff to list um, and iron. But there's Vans shirts in there, Levi's shirts in there, uh, an Adidas Goons top in there. Um, some nice bits. There's another windbreaker. So as you can see, some nice bits in there that will fetch a couple of quid when it comes to uh, eBay. Um, I missed out on the Boom eBay box, which is why I used this one instead. Um, because at the end of the day, we're getting cheap and we're making profit on it. So it doesn't really matter too much where we get it from. Um, now, I'm actually away a lot in August. So August is going to be a bit of a hit. But again, it's a real re uh, representation of how it would be growing a business from scratch. There are going to be times when you're not going to be working all the time. Um, so I'm actually in Manchester for an entire week next week. Um, basically having a week off, as you do. Um, I'm going to visit friends. There are loads of friends coming in from abroad, from America and uh, Europe. And we're just basically having a big party for a week. Um, but at the end of that week, I'm going to swing by Vintage Wholesalers because I think they still have some of the £5 sacks left. And I'm going to see if about picking up some more with this 500 quid we've got left. And then really kind of using that to really push that forward. Now I am going in my little Scirocco, so I won't be getting too many bags, but it should be enough to kind of really kind of propel this eBay forward because I want to get that 300 items unlocked. So around about seven, 800 because I want to shift some of my Depop stuff off Depop onto eBay and we need that space. So we're going to keep doing this, using this cheap stock to push it forward while we keep our Depop stock where it is so we can keep making that Depop money. <clears throat> uh, but that's kind of where we are right now. Um, we've, we're actually really moving nicely. I actually really kind of, I'm li liking the way the store's going. Um, I've got into a bit of a routine where we only list uh, five to ten items a day on there um, anything that's damaged is two quid plus post anything that's uh, higher end that's damaged is five quid plus post uh, shirts tops fleeces they're all 10 quid sweatshirts are 10 quid jackets are 20 to 30 quid depending on what it is um, there's a couple of single stitch bits on there which are like 30 quid um, and then there's a i can't remember where it came from but there is a tommy hill figure coat this bad boy yeah that one put that there uh, it's like a fisherman mac um, and these things are heavy it makes a right clank um, but I got, I got the date of it I think it was like 2001 2004 something like that um, that's up for 70 odd quid um, I've got a feeling that I'll go to Japan because uh, I looked and a lot of the people from Japan were buying them and I've had a lot of uh, Japanese people following and liking it um, from what I've seen, people, you know, you know how it is on eBay with interactions. Uh, other things we've done, uh, we signed up for the Global Shipping Program, so all our stuff now has international views. Uh, we have had a few pieces already go abroad uh, using the Global Shipping Program. If you don't know what that is, basically uh, eBay um, handle the international shipping. They handle the international shipping, they handle all the price, they handle all the uh, taxes, all that kind of stuff. Uh, when it comes through to you, you literally just get an address with a code on it for like Litchfield, I think it is, which is their sorting center. So you send it to there, make sure it's tracked to there so they know they've got it. Um, and then once it's there, they take care of it. They take care of everything from then on. Um, so you don't need to worry about it. You might get the odd person message you saying, where is my item? But ultimately it's not for you to know because you've done your job. Um, they need to like look at eBay and see what eBay are playing out with it. Um, so we're kind of cruising, like I say, we're going nicely. We're going nicely. Um, I've not got anything to unbox today. Like I say, I'm going to try and pick it up next week. But I am actually away for 10 days at the end of August. So I'm actually away. I think I'm only actually working for two weeks this month. So this month, uh, when we get to the end of this month, what I'll probably do... How are we going to work this? So I'll pick up this stock next week, hopefully. Um, so the week after, we'll do an unboxing video. Um, so you can see what we've got from that. Um, it's not sponsored or anything. It's just 
good cheap stock and that's what we want to get this eBay account where we want it to be. We don't want to be investing a lot but we want to be making sure what we're getting out of it is worth the time which is what we've definitely done this month. The time invested has definitely paid off. Four or five items a day, 500 quid profit, it's kind of where we want to be. Um, I think for, I know a lot of people like looking at the, 30, uh, the 90 day thing when it comes to eBay. Um, for the 90 day we're actually just under three grand. So we've only spent little money on all these clearance things, but we're kind of cruising to like, I think it's 2,800 quid for the 90 days. Um, there's a lot of bigger eBayers who are only doing four or five grand, uh, and this is their full-time gig, um, where we've done a couple of hours a day, and we're kind of already at the two, two eight-ish uh, mark for the 90 days. Um, so, by the end of August, that's probably not going to change too much because, like I say, I've only got really two weeks worth of listing um, to do in that time. But then September is kind of clear run. So in September is where we're going to put some proper effort in um, and really kind of drive this number up because we kind of want it to be up and running fully, ready for winter, because uh, we've got a lot of winter stuff in uh, that we'll want to get listed. Um, and this is kind of where we want to be. As you guys know, I prep a lot around winter. Um, so having this eBay account ready for winter is uh, a good place. It's all about being in a good place and we're, we're in that good place right now. Everything is kind of falling in line for the plan for winter. Um, and hopefully by the time we get to uh, October, November time, we should be doing... Uh, I'd like to see a grand a week on the account. Um, probably more if we do it right. So we'll kind of see if we get to the end of October and we've done a grand a week, then my prediction is right. But I think by the end of October, we should be actually smashing a grand a week, um, unless something comes up. But this is kind of where we are so far. Four months in, we're doing a, we've done about 2,800 in the last 90 days. Um, that obviously includes post because that eBay includes it. Uh, we've done 843 in the last um, 30 days. So all's good if you do have any questions about ebay and what we're doing the reasons why we're doing it in the way we're doing it just pop it in the comments below um but if you're in manchester next week you might see me in a pub just saying anyway that's enough of me rambling uh, i'll catch you in the next one